Hey guys, so I recently had posted a picture on my Instagram talking about how I tried out the foundation last routine that Samantha Ravendahl had posted a video about. It's seriously so good. And I did get some requests to film the look that I did. So that's what we'll be doing today. So let's just go ahead and get started. So obviously what we're going to do is start out by priming and then I'm going to layer a lot of cream products. So we're going to do our contour, our highlight, our blush, everything like that. And then we literally go in with our foundation blast. And the finish is just so amazing. This gives a really subtle dimension to the face. And then I actually do like to layer some powder products over it as well, just to add even more dimension. So I just think this is like a home run routine. That was a weird phrase. Let's just go with it. As always, I will be leaving all of the product links down below. So if I kind of rush through something and don't talk about it, just know it's really not about the individual product. It's more so about the technique. I'm just going to start off with the highlighter that I've been loving by Charlotte Tilbury, the Flawless Filter. Just highlighting all the usual spots. I'm getting so pale, like very rapidly. It's getting to that time of the year. Next, I am taking bronzer. And this is just a small e.l.f. stipple brush that I'm using to blend this out. Okay, I know I said I didn't really want to talk about product too much, but this is a newer product that I've really been enjoying. And this is the Flower Beauty um, Blush Balm Color Drops for Cheeks. And this is in the shade Pinched. These, I don't want to say are a dupe for the Glossier Cloud Paints because the texture isn't it quite exactly the same, but it is a very, very easy cream blush to work with. It's a little bit more moisturizing feeling, I would say, than the Cloud Paint. That has more of a like almost lightweight powdery finish. This feels a little bit more like a cream, but it is incredibly easy to blend out. And I just think the color is beautiful. So I'm actually probably going to pick up a few more shades. All right, now we're gonna go in with concealer. Honestly, no reason I did this last. <laughs> All the cream-based products are now laid down, so it's time to go in with foundation. And I'm going to be using a combination of the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint with the Ordinary Serum Foundation. So I just take, I don't know, six, like eight drops of the Glossier Skin Tint, and then like a pump or half a pump of the Ordinary Foundation. Okay, so then I'll take this, which is on my fingers, and just kind of like, pat this into my skin. Then once I've done that, I do like to go in with my sponge. On its own, this gives a very soft dimensional look. So it doesn't really seem like you're wearing a whole lot of makeup, even though technically you sort of have a full face on. Now, because I don't wear foundation on a daily basis, I wanna take this up a step and show you how I would wear this if I were going out at night. We're going to do that by layering powder products on for even more dimension and just a little bit more burst of color. Now you could always use heavier, or I don't wanna say heavier, but more pigmented products underneath of your foundation to give even more dimension. I feel like there's a lot of room for play with this look, so I really like that. So I am going to actually start by taking a little bit of this Flower Beauty powder that I have really been liking lately, and I'm just going to set the areas um, that get oily on me and my under eyes. Then I wanna go in with a light layer of bronzer. Since we already have the layers underneath. I feel like you can also go very light-handed with the powder products that you're layering. So all in all, it doesn't really feel like a lot of makeup because we went pretty light-handed on the cream products and now with the powder products. So it just lends itself to a very light makeup application. To highlight, I'm using my NARS Ibiza, which has been my favorite lately. I'm putting this basically everywhere that I also use the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. For blush, I'm pulling out an incredibly old one from my collection. I honestly probably should have thrown this out. This is MAC Gingerly, and I forgot what an incredible everyday color this is. So I have been wearing this a ton lately. This is one of their sheer tone blushes. I haven't bought anything from MAC in a really long time. 
so I don't even, I'm sure this is still available. I'm somewhat mimicking the tones that I used in the cream products as well. I'm just going to give a quick blend. I'm just going to fill in my brows really quickly and then I'll show you what I did on the eyes because I did get some questions on that Instagram picture. For the eyes, I'm using the same two nude sticks pencils that I had talked about in my last makeup tutorial. So this is the color Terra and these are the magnetic matte eye pencils. And I'm placing this all over my lid. These two colors that I have here have become my favorite everyday shades. They're so easy and quick to work with. I'm also placing this underneath on my lower lash line. Then I'm taking the color Fig and just focusing this on the outer portion of my eye. Eye color is literally that easy. I'm just gonna throw a coat of mascara on and we will be done. All right guys, this is the finished look. I hope you found this video helpful or just enjoyed seeing the results that I get from using her routine. I also think that this is kind of faster in a way because I feel like you don't have to blend as much to get a very blended look. So I absolutely recommend that you try this out if you haven't before. I think you guys are going to love it. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing rest of your week. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.